This lesson is going to be help with calculating mass to mole problems based on a worksheet you can find on my website if you don't have one already from homework. Okay, this problem says calculate the mass of a reactant or product from the amount in moles of a different reactant or product. So for starters, silver nitrate reacts with sodium chloride to produce silver chloride and sodium nitrate. How many grams of silver chloride can be made if 5 moles silver nitrate are used? Well first we have to start with a balanced chemical equation. So let's write out our equation. Silver nitrate reacts with sodium chloride to produce silver chloride. That'll be a solid if you check your solubility rules and sodium nitrate which is soluble. and these would be also soluble. Not real important when you're doing stoichiometry problems necessarily. Is the equation balanced? One silver, one silver, one nitrate, one nitrate, one sodium, one sodium, one chlorine, one chlorine. Hey this is really easy math because all of these are going to be one to one mole ratios. Alright let's look at problem yeah, and B is a different problem. So let's try. Uh, what I like to do is write the givens and the find up above the balanced equation. This says how many grams of silver chloride, so I'm going to put question mark and G for grams, if five moles of silver nitrate are used. So I know this is my given and this is my find. So you always start with given over one. So 5.00 moles AgNO3 over 1. I'm trying to get to grams of silver chloride, but before I can do grams, I have to get rid of moles. And the only way I can do that is a mole to mole ratio. So let's do just the words first and we'll figure out the numbers later. So the words are moles of AgNO3 on the bottom, moles of AgCl on top. Mole ratio is 1 to 1 because the coefficients are 1 and 1. That gets me a little closer because moles cancel out. That gives me moles of silver chloride. So moles of silver chloride goes on the bottom and this time I'm looking for grams of silver chloride. So I have to put that on top. Now, I don't know off the top of my head what the molar mass of silver chloride is, so I'm going to have to calculate it. So I've got my silver and my chlorine in the formula, and there's only one of each because it's AgCl. So I look on my periodic table. Here's silver, 107.88. In our class, we round to three sig figs, so we're going to round to 108 for silver. And for chlorine, 35.5, calculator, I'm going to add those together, 108.5. And then our sig fig rules say that when you're adding and subtracting, you round to the least number of decimal places. Well, this is a whole number. And this is the tenths place, so I have to round to a whole number. So I'm going to round that to 143, no, 144, 144 grams per mole. So up here in my molar mass, it's 144 grams for every one mole of silver chloride. Now moles of silver chloride cancel out. And the only math I really have is 5 times 144. All ones on the bottom so there's no point dividing. So 5 times 144 is 720. So 720 grams of silver chloride. Now remember we wanted that to be 3 sig figs because this is 3 and this is 3. So to get 3 out of that I'm going to have to put the little decimal 
Okay, so when we put the decimal in there, that makes it three significant figures, and our final answer is 720 grams of silver chloride. Okay, let's try another problem. This one is part B. Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, decomposes to form oxygen gas and water. How many grams of oxygen are released if 25 moles of hydrogen peroxide are used? Well, start with our reaction. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. It decomposes to form oxygen gas and water, which would be a liquid at room temperature. Is this equation balanced? No. We have one, two oxygens here plus one more. That makes three. We have two on this side. So whatever number of oxygen I have is going to have to be an even number. So let's try, if I double this, that makes four oxygens because two here plus two more here. And I can get four on this side with a two in front. Then that makes four hydrogens and here's four hydrogens. So now it's balanced. Okay, let's reread the question again. How many grams of oxygen? So I'm looking for right here, grams of O2 are released if 25 moles of hydrogen peroxide are used. Okay, now I'm ready to do my setup. I have 25 moles of hydrogen peroxide over one. I need moles of hydrogen peroxide to cancel out. And I want it to be an oxygen, but I'm not in oxygen yet. So I need to do the mole to mole step. And the ratio is 2 for H2O2 and 1 for O2. Now my moles of hydrogen peroxide will cancel. I have one mole of O2 on the top. So let's do moles of O2 on the bottom because I'm trying to get it into grams. So grams of O2 on the top. And then remember the formula is O times 2, so the mass of one oxygen off the periodic table is 16, times 2 is 32 grams per mole. So now I'm ready to do the math. The math is 25 times 32 divided by 2. Let's stick that in our calculators. And let's see what we get. Somebody interrupted me when I was taping this part, and the end of the problem is in Mole Mass Problems Part 2. So open that file now. Thanks.